Hello everybody, Timeless Traveler here, and welcome to my Timeless SSP. Yes, you heard that right, the Timeless SSP, or Survival Single Player. Now there's a few reasons that I'm starting this additional series. First one is, is that I want to have a world that I never reset, I never modify, purely vanilla, no alterations to the base game whatsoever, and I want to have this world withstand the test of time, meaning that throughout every update, especially big ones like the upcoming 1.17 slash 1.18, we'll talk about that in a different video, um, but game, m updates that modify the game on a massive scale, I want to have this world stand as somewhat of a... Uh, as a way to kind of document the changes to the game. So this will never be reset. We're going to keep playing this one all throughout every update. I want to see just how long I can have this world last. Um, for those that know uh, the one of the, the lead developer, Lady Agnes, she has a world that has lasted for 10 years. And I don't know if I can reach that point, but I want to at least get a couple years in on the world and see just how long I can play on the same world. Now, that is not to say that, uh, you know, the Timeless Adventures SMP on the realms is not happening. Uh, we're still going to be doing that. And uh, actually, that one is going to be actually lasting longer than expected. Um, because for those who don't know, we have a uh, there's going to be the release of the upcoming Caves and Cliffs has been moved forward which means that the length of season one of Timeless Adventures can also last a little bit longer. We'll talk about that in a future Timeless Adventures update. So another reason why I wanted to do a local game and not play on Realms was because Realms has a simulation distance of four. And uh, I do not know when they are intending to release the update that will allow us to adjust the simulation distance now what's important about the simulation distance is having mob farms mob farms are very very limited on sim distance 4 as far as what you can build the rates the scale of the farms it is very very limited and well i want to have a world where i can have some of the beefiest farms possible just because something to look at i want to be able to build something on that scale as well and on realms that is currently not possible so that is another reason i want to start this world now you might be wondering oh okay well what are you what's the stipulations for this playthrough well there isn't any i'm playing purely vanilla there's no changes no texture packs no add-ons well we are using the updated uh the beta texture update pack um we're not using, we're not playing on any insane difficulty. We're actually going to be playing on easy. Um, I probably will only use hard mode when I have my uh, gold farm active because rates increase on a higher difficulty for the gold farms. Piglins spawn quicker through zero tick portaling or whatever it's called. So that may be the only time I switch to hard mode. Um, it's also going to make for easier killing of the wither. I'm not playing this one to have like an intense, like, you know, super struggle playthrough. I want to have lots and lots of farms. I want to just play around with the world, explore all that I can explore, create amazing farms. I think I mentioned that already. And I want to really focus this one. I want to take my time on decorating and building. If I'm going to, if this is a world that I'm going to be keeping for years, I want to take this at a slower pace. There's some things that I'm going to probably want to be really fast on. Like I want to get farms done right away once I start them. But like for this, for example, I don't want this to be just this. If I decide to settle here, I want everywhere that you can see. I want it to look like that. I have modified it in one way or another. And so keeping this world for years to come um hopefully i reach that goal oh. i don't even have a starting map i turned that off so i have no way of recording where i am i uh you know of course i have my coordinates up there and uh we're pretty much close to the center of the world i haven't even booted this up in 
what's it called chunk base to like get a massive view of the seed itself this is a completely random seed i don't even know it i haven't looked at it um i don't know what it is i will uh take a look at it at some point but it's actually this is a good start i like starting off in the plains and i have the option of a few different trees now i don't like birch I don't like birch, but this is, like I said, we're keeping this world for quite some time. So I think I need to get a little more comfortable with it. It looks like over there in the distance, we have ourselves some nice spruce trees. So, you know, I might, hmm. Oh, is that a ruin portal? I, I might start to get a little more comfortable with the spruce trees as well. So believe it or not, I've been playing bedrock since it launched actually when it was the better together update i've been playing it since then and i can't think of a time that i have actually chopped down a spruce tree and done anything with spruce like at least with birch i've turned them into planks chests all that stuff um i can't think of a time that i've done anything to spruce so maybe we should change that. Well, you want to be able to try to work with everything in this in this uh, in this playthrough. Like I said, we're, we're going to keep this one for quite some time. And let's let's create a bed real quick. I'm getting a little nervous. I'm just going to sleep outside. I'm just going to sleep anywhere. It doesn't matter. Um, I think it's dark enough. I think it's dark enough to start sleeping. Let's. Uh... Oh, come on. Come on. There we go. It scared me. There, there are mon monsters out, so we want to make sure that we don't get taken out. So, as I'm saying about this spruce, like, I think right now I'm not going to mess with it because it's just going to be, it's going to take a lot of time to take these out. You know, it's always customary to kind of start off, at least in my opinion, it's customary to start off cutting down the oak trees at least if you have oak trees nearby simply because they're one of the shortest so i'm gonna stick to that and uh i'll just keep gathering a few more resources before i decide to kind of settle and make some more tools look at this we have ourselves some exposed coal so i am gonna create a pickaxe real quick and uh we're gonna gather some of these goodies you know, it is kind of exciting to start a new world. And that's also another thing, like when I reach a certain point in a world like I have on the Timeless Adventures uh, series, you know, we've gotten so far. We're pretty much gods. We have access to pretty much everything that we really need. And once you take the struggle out of it, once that once that 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 grind part is gone, um, for me, at least, it's 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 I, I struggle with trying to find things to do. Um, I say how I want to build a bunch of cool looking things, um, but I just I lose sight of that once I uh, once it's no longer hard to navigate the game. Like I can dig super super fast. I can grow anything. I can farm anything. I can fly wherever. I can fly however long I want. You lose sight of you know just taking it slow and just kind of enjoying the game at a slower pace and hopefully playing this specific world for a few years will help keep me humble and help keep me working at a slower pace and be comfortable playing at a slower pace that's also another thing i want to try to get out of this so hopefully you all enjoy the journey that uh i hope to sustain with this world keeping it throughout the years and then seeing how the world gets changed with all the various updates that I think that'll be that'll be fun to look at um, and it'll serve as a historic marker from 1.16 all the way up to however long we decide to keep this going at least at least four updates four update minimum. So. Um, what, maybe four years at least, I hope I would like to. So let's go ahead and let's upgrade our pickaxe. There we go. I can't believe I actually just might broke that wooden pickaxe. I didn't go for the coal at all. I came up here for the coal and then I ended up just getting distracted <laughs> and just took out as much stone as possible. That's OK. That's OK. We got an upgraded tool and now we can go ahead and, you know, I might go for a little bit of iron since I'm here. If I see any iron here, I know there was a cave 
an exposed cave back there. Probably has some open iron. In upcoming updates, we will be able to apply fortune to gold, copper, and iron. And that's going to be very, very exciting, especially when you're like early mid game. You just got fortune. You just got your silk touch and you've saved those ore blocks. And now you're ready to use that fortune three. And you're going to just get so much more iron and gold than what you're accustomed to. So that's going to be that's going to be a fun thing. I'm, I'm really looking forward to being able to fortune iron. And do we have any iron in here? Oh, maybe, maybe. Yes, let's make some torches real quick. I don't have many sticks. I guess I could make some more, couldn't I? Let's get the sticks right there. Okay. Now, probably shouldn't be in this cave right now simply because I'm not that prepared. I have a little bit of food. It's not even cooked. And I just, I just, I just want a few pieces of iron. I'm not gonna do any digging. I just wanna see if there's any exposed iron. We're gonna, we're gonna just go back the way we came. Luckily, no. Oh, I, I see some coal. Oh, 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 okay. Okay. First conflict. Let's see how this turns out. Have at the you fell beast. Oh, okay. Well, that's not too bad. I just can't feel myself. I'll just grab some of this coal real quick since we're here. Okay. Well, that wasn't too bad. Let's, uh, got a little bit of coal over there. Good. We're going to need that. Because I want to smelt this food down, so I got something better to eat. Okay, well, I'm coming back down from the mountain. I've been up here for pretty much a whole day. And what's over here? Oh, it's a rabbit. Oh, it's cute. No, come on. Let me sleep. Let me sleep. Let me sleep. Come on, they're going to kill me. Oh, okay. So let's think about where we want to land. So the mountain is going to be a good source of stone. We're not gonna we're not gonna touch down here. I see we've got plenty of oak trees. We have the spruce trees over there. We have the birch forest. I hate birch forests. In my experience, they just never end. Uh, so mm, what we're gonna do is I might touch down somewhere over there. Now this is dangerous. I have a completely empty hunger hunger bar. I have no, I'm not eating anything yet. I want to kind of get an idea of where I want to touch down first before I sit down and start making food. So I just want to grab this sugar cane real quick. And you know, I don't think I have any seeds. How am I supposed to start my wheat farm? I could, <laughs> I'm, I'm so unprepared. I'm trying to run and I keep forgetting that I can't. Okay, let's just grab a few seeds here. Come on. All right, we got one seed. I mean, one is all you need, but... It's going to be very, very slow if you just start off growing one seed. So at some point, I want to grow the wheat field and expand it. I want to have a whole map worth of, I don't, I don't know, maybe, maybe just because. I mean, if we're going to have this world for years to come, uh, why not do something ridiculous like that? We got to we got to also, you know, there's a there's a time to be serious in this game and really grind and gather resources but then you also just got to mess around. And so that's going to be another goal is to be able to, you know, work on just messing around. If we're going to have this for a few years, then there's going to be there's going to be some ridiculous things in here just because a statue of a sheep, a scale model of of, you know, an enderman or a creeper, things like that. I think on the topic of ridiculousness as we're going to just have. Maybe a wheat field that is the size of a standard one by one map just to start with. Let's let's start small for now because it's it's already kind of ambitious. That's a 128 by 128 blocks wide. Uh, so that'll be quite the challenge as far as having the patience to do that. <laughs> but I want to be able to sustain myself on bread early game. I always go for bread and I think maybe just for fun. We'll have a little chicken farm. Why is he? Fa oh, because I have wheat seeds in my hand. That's right. I should probably eat something. Uh, let's let's get over to where am I? I was going to go over here, I think. Oh, we've come across a beautiful flower field. Oh, look at this. We have ourselves a beehive. Oh, OK. Well, I need to get silk touch. Are there even bees in here? Oh, that's going to be sad. A beehive with no bees. I don't hear anything. I don't see any buzzing. 
maybe this block is in the way. I think we got a dead beehive. That's that that's that's upsetting. It's okay. We can grow beehives. If anyone, if you don't know, whenever you grow an oak tree and there's like two or three flowers literally like right beside the sapling, like right here on the on the on the surfaces or on the sides of the of the sapling, when you let it grow or when you bone meal it, there is like a 20 some percent chance of it of it growing with a beehive attached to it with I think like two bees. Is that our swamp over there? So we're gonna have access to slimes. This is lovely. Definitely not gonna go there. But I would like to set up a village breeder. Uh oh, what's happening? Okay, I guess I need to grow some food. Oh no. I didn't know this happens in easy mode. Okay. Apparently you can die from starvation on easy. You know what? We're gonna take this area right here. This is gonna be the front. This is gonna be the front yard. This is going to be our backs going to be up against the mountain. We're going to set up right here in this Y level 68. That works. So we'll keep things off to the side for now. So we're going to put this here and then we're going to get out our fern eye. We're going to smelt this down in the meantime, while we're waiting for food to grow. Let's go ahead and get out some double chestage. There we go. All right. I have got somewhere to put the stuff in case I die. I don't want to lose anything valuable. Let's see what we can do is. We can get ourselves our let's just get ourselves our stone tool set. So I'm going to go ahead and do away with. That wooden sword, we don't need that anymore. Let it despawn. Let's go ahead and get this out. We're going to get ourselves the stone sword, the stone axe, stone pick and the stone shovel and uh. Yeah, well, we might need the stone hoe later. We're well equipped for a decent adventure. Once the food is done cooking, let's go ahead and put that here. We're going to go collect some wood. And there we go. We got the perfect setup. We got ourselves a little cave here. That's right. We got the river. I wonder where the river goes. We might explore that. We've got the swamp over there. It's almost time to sleep. Next to the swamp, it looks like there's more open plains and then the nasty, nasty birch forest. We don't we don't want to go over there. We, we will not explore the birch forest. Now we have all these flowers here, which means that we have access to dye. And oh, we got some pumpkins already. I can start our early pumpkin farm. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and go over there right now. Let's take a look at the swamp real quick before I grab those pumpkins. This is a Good sized swamp. I wonder if we have a witch hut. Then from there, we have access to gunpowder, redstone, glowstone, health potions. That'll be that'll be nice. This is perfect. We have early access to slimes. This is very exciting, everyone. Now, what was I going to do? I had to go get those pumpkins. All right. One pumpkin's all we need. But let's go ahead and there we go. There's the other one. Right now, this is a rare commodity, so We'll just grab as many as we can. And that's like what? That's like eight pumpkin seeds. So we can go ahead and get a get a little farm started, too. Unfortunately, we still have to keep killing the innocent animals because don't have access to food yet. So we've got to do this caveman style and just slaughter every animal that we see. That's just how it is. Oh, I also forgot to mention that uh, another purpose for having this purely vanilla no resource, da da da, whole nine, all that stuff to a world is um, this world. Now, while I currently have, um, so I, I, I like getting, I like 100% completing this game and I've been getting all the achievements since I've been playing, like heavily playing after the aquatic update. I have been working effortlessly or tirelessly, whatever. I've been working hard to <laughs> make sure that I can get all the achievements for this game. Now, I cannot do that on Realms the way it's set up because we have to have cheats on to allow certain things to work, like having the, the camera accounts and all that stuff. The resource packs uh, turn off achievements as well. So when those new updates come out, we are also going to hunt for those new achievements. So that way we can, I can stay at 100% on my minecraft uh achievement list and that also means that potentially we will we will go over how to unlock those new achievements 
uh, per every update. Whenever we have a new update, I'm going to, you know, we'll see how it goes. I might try to, uh, as I try to discover how to unlock the achievements, you know, you're going to be seeing it with me. And then you will know how to do it for yourself if you do not know. So this can also serve as a bit of an, an achievement guide. I would do something like that now. But as, as I mentioned, I've already 100 percented. And while I could start a brand new world or a brand new profile, I am not going to do that. I'd rather just stick to the profile that I have. And whenever new updates come out, new achievements come out, we can go over the new ones when that time comes. My goal, I think, when, I, when it comes to building is I want to try and build with every single block. Uh, that doesn't necessarily mean use everything like so say you got your oak logs and you can turn them into planks slab stairs pressure plates right doesn't necessarily mean use all of those just use all of the same texture so instead of so we have the stairs and the slabs and the walls for stone right uh, i don't necessarily have to use all those different versions of stone just using that same texture bonus points for myself i think would be to use all of those different types of stone. Ooh, an apple. I think we can shoot for using every single block in the game that's attainable in survival. I think that's that's definitely a reasonable goal if we're gonna be doing this throughout uh, a few years. Oh, I don't even have shelter. I I I don't I don't have anything. <laughs> this is this is embarrassing. I am stuck out here in the rain. Don't have any way of covering, but Eh, it's you know what it's it's all right it's all right we will definitely live and we are going to put a good amount of time i don't know exactly what i want to do to this land yet but i wanted to get this video out and start this series and get this first episode out just to kind of give you all a bit of a overview of the plans for this for this upcoming series and uh you know what we, what we want to try to do something something else to add on for this channel and just just to get the ball rolling a bit i think that's gonna be it we're gonna end it there everybody i know we didn't get a lot done but i wanted to kind of give you an overview and just to start this new world out and get some of the basics of this world as well as some of the basics for this series and let you all know what's to come so that was timeless ssp i am timeless traveler thank you all again so much for watching and i will see you in the next episode